There's a legend that there's actually an island full of goats in Oklahoma on Lake Tenkiller. Well, I hopped on the internet. I found out it's really, really true. I went to Google Maps. I found there's actually a location right there on the maps to get there. Went to Google Earth, kind of checked it out. Hopped on the internet, found some pictures. They even named the goats. Then I decided to hit Facebook. And sure enough, there's even a place that sells some merch for it. I figured, you know what, why not? Let's hop over here to Google Earth. Let's look around and find the best place we can enter the island. And the thing is, we have kayaks. So I need to find a place to take off from and a place to land. So I looked around on Google Earth. I found a good landing spot. Then I hopped on the phone. I called a local joint called The Barn. The barn told me, hey, the goats are there. So I planned the route and we're gonna hit the road. Well, today is the big day. We are headed to Goat Island out here in Oklahoma. Um, I managed to do some research looking at the different uh, Goat Islands here in Oklahoma. There happens to be Goat Island and the real Goat Island. There's not a whole lot of information out there on the internet where we can uh, determine which is the, the better island to go to. Uh, so I had to do a little research when I got up this morning and I started calling some local places. I called the barn and I called a local marina where I asked some questions and it turns out the real Goat Island is the one we want to go to. That's on Lake Ten Killer, and that's about an hour and six minutes. Uh, it happens to be the one that shows the most goats in the Google photos. So of course that's where we're gonna go. We have the kayaks here uh, thanks to the Airbnb that we're staying at. It's a log cabin it's like a Lincoln log cabin all built together like Lincoln logs but I'm gonna ready to load up these kayaks uh, I don't have any rope I wasn't prepared I did rent a truck so I do have a short bed somehow I got to get these kayaks in there and we're gonna hit the road and head on down to Goat Island uh, it was confirmed that they have goats on the island still so there's not a whole lot of pictures or information on whether they're still there there was I don't know how they got there uh, I'm gonna find out more about that. We're gonna ask some questions. We're gonna paddle out there. We've got three kayaks, guys. And <laughs> this little one right here, Heather's gonna ride in. She already reaches the max capacity. Uh, she is exactly at 130. Sorry I aired out your dirty laundry there on how much you weigh, Heather. But those kayaks have to end up inside of that short bed truck and I have to find a way to tie them down. So that's today's project. Ooh, fancy. I won't. Of course I dropped you guys. I'm so sorry. Let's give it another shot here. Looks good, hon. Ah, thanks, hon. <laughs> Keep you, up the good work. You think we're going to lose them? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Yep. Ay, 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 ay. Can't forget Heather's kayak. <laughs> she wears children's clothes, children's shoes, and uses a children's kayak. <laughs> yeah. That fits like a glove. All right, time to hit the road. First stop, a local gas station to see if we can find some rope to tie those down. And then tractor supply and then Goat Island. Just left the uh, driveway <laughs> and the kayaks aren't falling out, but we haven't hit high speeds yet. Mays County Water Tower. That's the water supply for the entire county. Oh, can you guys hear the wind? We've only stopped at the gas station and it is burrowing in here. Is that even a word? I don't know, but we're here at Sinclair. Their uh, mascot is a dinosaur and we're at the Lake Hudson General Store. We're gonna grab ourselves some rope. Hey, is anybody changing their mind after feeling that wind? Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh 
for a raft. That's perfect. That's a rope. Well, I got myself a meat pie while I was in there. I have never had a meat pie. That must be an Oklahoma thing. Um, and I got my rope, so we're set. So I'm going to tie down, tie down the kayaks, fill up the truck, and we'll be on the road. I made a cr critical error. Apparently, this is just the piece that attaches to the boat. <laughs> and there's no way I'm getting that around. I don't know if they'll take a return. Let's find out. Okay, this wind is insanity. I'm going to see what he says about a return. That's a bummer. They don't take returns on open packages. All right, we're just driving by a body of water. Look, they're out. And we got some pretty rough waters out there. This is not the lake we're going in. This is Lake Hudson, but I'm assuming all lakes are gonna look that choppy today. Whew, adrenaline rush. Um, <laughs> thought I lost the kayaks for a second, but they just flipped around. Again. Okay. Selena, and the kayaks are flipping around back there. It is windy out. How about this guy? There's gotta be some rope in this town. First place happens to be a hardware and tackle store, so I'm parking over here, honey. Okay, now we're talking. Perfect. Red, red rope. All right, that should do it. We've got some nice thick rope double going around each of the big kayaks <laughs> and then tying off in here to a couple fancy knots. The little kayak is pinned in there by this big kayak, so let's hope that works. I'm mad at him. Why? Because <laughs> we are in Oklahoma and we pull into a tractor supply, which we go to all the time, and in the shopping center is my most favorite store, Maurice's, <laughs> which I never get to go to because it's an hour away at home and he won't let me go. How many so hours people? away are we from home right now? It doesn't matter. <laughs> We're here. It's right here. Listen. And he said no. No. I told him if he was near his most favorite store that he never gets to go to, mm -hmm. I'd let him go. Is it like a people's? It's, it's a, a clothing, clothing store. store. She wants to go clothing shopping yeah, so like in Oklahoma. I want 20 minutes. That's all. No, it's probably we don't 20 have minutes. Mm -hmm. We got to get to Goat Island. Sorry. <laughs> Here we are, tractor supply. We'll see what we can pick up for the goats that live on the island. I can't take a ton of stuff on the kayak, unfortunately, but. I'll be able to take something, so. Horse blinders, hun, horse blinders, come on. Make sure I get them some copper. I'm gonna grab them two of the billy blocks. They don't have as much copper in them, but it'll keep them busy for a while. These will last longer. And then my goats love licorice, so I'm assuming they're gonna like these. Luckily, they had this medicated pellet, and check this out. It treats 12 50 pound goats. So if I get two bags of this, lay it out there in a row, in a line, I should be able to treat the entire herd that's on Goat Island. So we got that, we got our minerals and some treats, and we're set, and I don't think I'm gonna overweigh my kayak. <laughs> I swear these ladies think we're, go we think we're going into the apocalypse or something. They're buying gloves and hats and <laughs> I'm going to Zombie Island. We're going on a kayak for 400 yards. That's it. Get out of Dodge. I need this in my life. What is it? A unicorn alpaca. <laughs> That's awesome. I like the way she says unicorn. Say washer. 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 Water. <laughs> so. There we go. She said I had to get this on video. It is the first Starbucks we've seen in Oklahoma. In how many days? Are you happy now? In like four days. Are you having withdrawals? I said to him, where do they go for their coffee? <laughs> they make it themselves. <laughs> That's actually the place I called this morning right there, the barn. We're here, guys. We're here. There is Goat Island. She's pretty. Your destination is on the left. Shush. I'm gonna zoom in. Maybe I can see goats from here. Is that a goat? Hold on. Oh, there's a rocky crest over there. Maybe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
What is that? There might be a goat right there or two. Guys, the water is a little choppy and we have some little kayaks, so. Yeehaw, buckle up. <laughs> the wind, the water is so choppy. I'm gonna get a, oh, it's wavy, guys. Let's get a view. Gosh, my phone is wet now. So my only concern is um, we're going to be paddling against the current. And the wind is just really whipping. What a day to go visit Goat Island. Okay. Alright, the girls are getting a little scared. I'm not scared. But I'm going to give it a test run just to go out there, you know, 50 feet and come back in. Uh, Heather's bringing me my oar right now. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's very, uh, very bouncy. Oh! <laughs> I've never done this! this no, whoa. There. Yeah, maybe. This you seems a little, yourself in. This seems a little... You're gonna fall here. This is crazy. I saw this. I had to come see it. Oh, wow. It's a bass. Oh, don't go to Goat Island. Don't go. Look. Um, all right, I'm going. Oh, it's so not stable. It's, ah, I'm getting wet already. Oh, shh. Hold on. So actually, once you're out here, it's not that bad. Let me turn around. I said, actually, once you're out here, it's not that bad. My butt's a little wet, but it's just right there on the shore where the waves are crashing. I think we can do it. I right, got all my goodies inside of the compartment here. And uh, we'll lace it back up. Girls are getting their bathing suits on up there. Uh, I can tell you, just from my short little ride there, my butt can't get wet, so. <laughs> We got this. A really stupid idea, honey. We're gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna get the bottom of this lake. I don't think we will. I think we got this. What? Ruth. Death. Well, I mean, there are predators for those fish. They're called humans. <laughs> There's no predators for us, so we're fine. At least the sun is peeking out a little bit. So the plan is, I'm gonna send Lauren out to get her balance first and figure it out. I'll push Heather out there on her kid kayak. I'll bring up the rear and make sure everyone's good to go. If they need to turn around and come back. I do have the rope, so we're set with that. And that's only 400 yards-ish. What do you think about this, Heather? We're crazy. And it's all because of goats. <laughs> Alright. I'll hold the back. We'll get you out there. You figure out your buoyancy. Take your oars. There you go. Alright. Just do more right-handed paddling. Right-handed, right-handed. Face the wind. There you go. Use your right hand. 
What do you think, hon? Is it something you can do? You're not, she's not going very far. There we go. She's got it now. She's figuring it out. She is figuring it out. I don't think she can hear me though. Go girl. She's a professional. All right, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. And you're off. And are you sinking already? Use your right arm. Right arm. Oh, shit. You sure you can't do it? No, I need my bag. Oh man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's running away. <laughs> Lauren's halfway there. I'm gonna have to catch up to her. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can catch her. I don't want her struggling. All right. I have no tripod for y'all. It is all definitely rough waters. Going against the wind. Going against the current. I don't seem to be very far. Some of the waves are much larger than you expect to be on a, on a lake. But there's really absolutely nothing stopping the uh, the wind from barreling across. So Laura looks like she's three quarters of the way there. Worst idea ever, huh? You got this, honey. You're killing it. I gotta tell you, hon, you killed it. You absolutely killed it. How she <laughs> she fell out of the boat. No, she couldn't make it with her canoe. Her kayak. Are you wet? I am. Uh, I don't know if this was the best idea we've ever had. <laughs> it's all gonna be worth it when we see the goats. If we see goats. All right, let me get out. We just saw a bald eagle. I think, we'll go in there. And we don't see any goats. So not only did we have to kayak over here, we have to huff all of the goat treats and mineral blocks and everything into the island and find the goats. Bah! Come on. Oh, sorry. All right, we're going to the bald eagle. Let's go. Um, I'm pretty sure RJF set me up on that one. <laughs> hey, look at that. The island has geese on here. Canadian geese. I wonder if there's babies. Uh, well, if there are, we're staying far here. They'll attack us. They're nasty. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. I'm not going to bother you. We're walking past looking for the goats. Can you tell me where the goats are, sir? Can you tell me where the goats are at, please, before you leave? Okay, fine. They're I everywhere. I want to see this huge ginormous bird. All right, apparently there's a ginormous bird and she thinks it's a bald eagle. First evidence of goats on the island is goat turds. We found them. So we know they're here. Now it's just a matter of finding where out there, where they're hiding. Ha <laughs> ha
I bet you they're over on the rocks. <sighs> what a shame. There's so much trash on the island. There's styrofoam from the docks. There's debris that's just blown in everywhere. It's a complete mess. Planters. And just trash everywhere. Goat Island needs cleaned up, guys. If you ever find yourself down this way, grab a team of people in a boat, not a kayak, and do some cleanup on the island. Lauren has a really good eye. That is a bald eagle sitting up there in the nest. Look at it. That's amazing. It's a bald eagle, honey. I knew it. So the wind is really whipping up there. Not on the ground, but I can tell y'all that's a bald eagle. Was that worth the trip alone? Um, if I saw the mate come, it would be. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck? I had no idea he was there. He was sitting so still. Are you sitting on eggs? Uh, yes, you are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were sitting and I didn't even know you were there. Uh, yeah, they're huge. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going towards my wife. Don't you worry. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, I left you alone. Gosh. Yeah, we've never actually seen nest. We've seen bald eagles sitting on branches, but never nest. So cool. So with the bald eagle, they pair and they take turns sitting on the eggs. So the mom will sit for a while while the dad goes out and hunts and he brings her food or they'll switch and then the other one will sit on the eggs while the other mate goes out and hunts. That's crazy. Yeah. Good daddy. If you have us on a wild goat chase. I do. Luckily, when I called the marina this morning, he could assure me there were still goats on the island. Uh, yeah, there's definitely goat, goat poop sitting right there well, on top. What does geese poop look like? No, that's not geese this poop. This one's not happy with us. Oh, we got another hisser? Yeah. I feel like we're in the movie The Birds. <laughs> They're everywhere. They should call it Goose Island. All right, I'm, this is another one and she already flew away. I'm not gonna touch the eggs, but I can show you how big they really are. Um, those are, I don't even know. I can't, I'm not touching. I'm just saying they're humongous. Those are humongous. So guys, we made it out to Goat Island and can you believe it? There really are goats here. There are so far eight goats that we've counted and three of them are super friendly. It was quite a hike to get here in the kayak and my wife uh, said she thought that was the worst idea that we've ever done. However, I think she's changed her mind now. And there are baby goats out here, literally baby goats that are still nursing. This guy's the leader. Look how beautiful. Now he has an ear tag. Guys, can we see what that ear tag number is? We can probably link it back to a farm. Hi, hi. Oh, you're beautiful. You actually look very healthy for being uh, an island goat. These are island goats in Oklahoma, literally living on an island called Goat Island. <laughs> this is one of the coolest things I think we've ever done, hon. I'd like to get close to a baby. Babies are running away, but they're over there with their mamas. There they go. Yippee, 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 yippee. Come on, guys. Don't be scared. Come on. 
So it seems like the bigger guys will absolutely just come right up to you. Oh, look, there's the baby. There's a baby. Oh, it's one white foot. Did you see it? No. I was like, oh my gosh, something's wrong with his foot. Look. Has it got a white, it's a white foot? foot? He does have a white foot. Look, he's coming, honey. This is his mama right here, the black. So why don't we name the little white foot one, hun? We can uh, give him our own name. Well, anyway, so the world knows there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine goats that I see out on Goat Island. There might be another little herd somewhere else. I see it. They're amazing. They're the big daddy. Yeah. He ain't scared. Where are you going to dump the minerals? Maybe there at the... Well, they like this area, apparently. This ginormous tree came down, and they're probably chewing the bark up. But uh, I do have the minerals for their copper. We have some mineral blocks. All right, I have a crazy idea. I really want to hold the baby, and it's not going to hurt them. I own goats. I know that just a little a little chase through the woods isn't going to be a big, uh, a big issue. So I want to try to see if I can get to that baby without hurting myself. All right, I'm gonna walk around. You don't think so? And that's that. Shoot. <laughs> all I have to do is say wow. Wow, oh, it's a spider web. <laughs> I mean, all I want to say is wow, that was awesome. Um, I'm going over here to grab the minerals and the mineral block. I want to set it up for them. I've already started them on the goat dewormer. Uh, I only see one of them with tag. I'm assuming that's one of the OGs that was on the island. Um, they were somebody's at one point. They may still be somebody's at one point. If you are the owner of these goats or know the owner of these goats, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below because I'd like to reach out to you. Uh, I think it's really awesome that they're out here. I could definitely see some sort of agritourism involved with Goat Island and I like how you guys labeled it the real Goat Island on Google. So always go to the real Goat Island. Good choice. All right, I'm, bet I'm heading back over there with my mineral blocks and everything. This seems to be where they like to hang out. So we'll lay down all the feed, medicated feed, along with the minerals and she's got the goat treats. All right, so we're gonna do a pile, we're gonna do the mineral blocks and a pile of minerals. Hi, buddy. So this is gonna be your mineral station right here. There you go. Mineral station. See how you like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bet you have an, oh, you found the medicated feed. On. So what I want to do is once I put the medicated feed down, I want to back away. I would really like some of them to get it. Um, it's hard to get over there without the whole herd running away. So she's going to try to go around while I hang out with these guys. Hi, buddy. So who does your hoof trimmings? <laughs> Where do you go for a hoof trimming in this area? Huh? Same place you get your nails done and your eyebrows and your, your hair. I bet you head over onto the barber. It's one on the other side of the island. Yeah. <laughs> so she's dumping a pile over there. Uh, this guy's going. He's going over there. A skull and a vertebrae. What did she find? Ooh. What? What are we looking at? It looks like a fish. How is there a fish all the way up here? What? What? <laughs> that is the scariest. Yeah, that is a, that honestly is a ginormous catfish or, 
I think it's just a big old catfish skull doing hanging out up here on the island. Range, yeah. Mineral station all set up. Put some here. And hey, at least if we break the life cycle of some of the worms, hey, I, mean, I don't know, they're healthy. They're healthy. Do you have all the trash? Yeah. Okay, very cool. They look very healthy. I would say they probably get taken care of by somebody. Uh, happy to help out any way we could, though. Ma, remember the goat father. Ma. Bye. I'm gonna miss you. Let's walk further away. Is that the mineral? Look. Yeah, I saw. At least that mama's getting some. Listen he does like his minerals. Look at him. <laughs> He's probably never had minerals. Further away, we gotta back away or the other group doesn't come. Oh, I have to get back in that water. That's the thing I'm not happy about. Hon, we have to get back in the water. Yeah, well, you gonna sleep here with the goats? <laughs> Gets me into crazy situations. The memory. Male, he's guarding. Female, she's sitting. They work together. So goats aren't the only thing you'll see on Goat Island. You'll also see tons of Canadian geese and a bald eagle. So I'd say very well worth the trip. And come on a nice sunny day when there's no wind. <laughs> she just had a giant thorn go through her shoe. Well, her croc. She thought it was a good idea to wear crocs out here. <sighs> you can come back. We're leaving your island. Yeah, we have to go across that. And our truck is way over there. So, luckily the wind is kind of blowing that direction. We're not going against it, but we are going to drift to the left. <sighs> well, the drift to the left. Heather's picking us up. <laughs> I really wish I could bring some drift home with me. Drift wood home with me. <laughs> That's some pretty cool stuff right there. That looked good in my yard. I think I have to bring this home with me. I need a souvenir from Goat Island. He might be the new mascot that goes back and forth between RJF and me. Ouch, guy. That looks like it hurt. <laughs> All right, I'll see you on the other side. This sucks. <laughs> Let me push you first. Good luck, honey. Good luck. See you over there. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I put my hand in the water. My sleeve's all wet now. Come on, come on, there we go. I'm going, let's just see if we can let the wind take us. Nope, it's gonna take me right back to shore. And we're off. Okay, I'll see you guys on the other side, how about that? Or I could do some one-handed paddling. You guys know I'm really good at doing everything with one hand. Let's see if I can catch up to Lauren. This is a breeze coming back. Uh, fun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if I can catch up to her. She's taking uh, quite a lead on me here. So, I'm going for it. I'm giving it a really good effort. We got left, right, left, left, right, left. Left, right, left. Oh yeah, picking up the knots. 
Now I should probably head to the right just a little bit because I'm drifting to the left. This is much easier on the way back. Some of the waves are pretty big. The lake waves, holy smokes. Whew. I needed my workout. Gotta find a burger joint after this. I hope there's a burger king. Island was a success. We did it. High five. <laughs> Crazy goat man. Thanks Woo! for watching our video. If you like our goat adventures, <laughs> if you like our goats on our farm, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and follow us on Facebook, and uh, that's about it. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. See ya.